Well, hello there, you sweet, irradiated Tobians. It's your boy, Them Curvy Toes, and today we are going to be playing Brotato, one of my favorite vampire survival, survivor style roguelikes. Uh, this is a game about being a potato and murdering hordes of aliens. And if that concept doesn't sell you on the game, quite frankly, nothing I say will. Uh, so, before I get started today, I just want to say a huge thank you. We've been getting a lot more traffic lately. You guys are the real MVPs. Uh, please remember to like the video, uh, subscribe to the channel. It only takes you a second. It's free and it helps me out tremendously. Thank you so much for everything you sweet toe beans do. Let's get into the gameplay. So today we are going to be playing as, where is he? There he is, the ranger. So we get plus 50 range. Range damage modifications are increased by 50% and we, uh, our max HP modifications are reduced by 25%. So we are not uh, not too tanky, but we have the capacity to put enough damage down range that that won't matter. I'm crossing my fingers. This has been another day where I've certainly tried to record episodes before this one and just have not been having a good time. So. The, uh, the SMG and the pistol, both putting in quite a bit of work, we are going to take... You know what? We are just going to start investing in armor right away. Armor is going to be something... Ooh, another SMG, more trees spawn. Hitting an enemy re removes 10% of their speed. We're going to take that. That's going to give us a little more chance to flip around these enemies. The minus 3% speed is very easily fixable with a single upgrade. Oh, look at me with my little green clown wig. I like that. Just got a potato with an eye patch running around on a murderous rampage. So, again, this is one of those games I'm not really sure if there's if there's too much in the way of lore, but like what uh what are the circumstances that led to a weaponized potato running around on what I'm assuming is an alien planet on an absolute murder spree? Uh, so this is gonna be taken you know we're so low already i'm just i'm gonna take it did that not give us anything uh oh plus five percent damage more smg and a laser gun and we are actually going to take the dynamite as well it's like i'm wondering if this is like a uh like a mass effect scenario to where you know potatoes are just one of a a veritable number of species that, you know, have have pissed off an alien threat. Like, is there a planet of, of carrots and cabbages and, and cucumbers and whatnot as well? Or is it just we potatoes are alone in this universe, or so we thought, until discovering these gape-mouthed aliens that uh, seem intent on, on french-frying us. Uh, we're going to take more armor. Explosion damage. Ugly tooth. And... We're going to lock both of those down. We are getting a lot of really, really stellar upgrades here. So much so that we can't even afford them. So that is always a good problem to have. And the money always does start piling up later in runs. Especially if one invests into harvesting or whatnot. But for right now, the uh, the upgrades we have, along with the, the weapons that we're currently equipped with, are carrying us just fine. Our range is high enough that we can take care of everyone before they uh, get close enough to us to be of any real threat. And there we go. That is wave four completed. Um, we're going to take plus ten attack speed and plus two range damage. So that should actually add plus four range damage. So we are at zero right now. We go over there. Three. A minigun? Beans, this just got cracked wide open. All right, all right, all right. We are gonna save up. We are gonna save up for this round. We are going to buy the minigun first, then the rest of this, and then, oh man. This just got busted wide open. Who doesn't want a potato loaded with miniguns and ammunition for said miniguns? That is a force to be reckoned with, truly. Just hit level 6 there. You know, for the more tree spawning upgrade, I'm not seeing that many trees right now. Unless they're all... Well, there's one up here. 
and I haven't invested into luck whatsoever, so we are unfortunately not getting too many boxes. Ah, but there's one right there. And now, as you can hear from the constant pattering of bullets, the uh, enemies are certainly starting to ramp up. Yes, 30% pickup range is excellent. Melee damage is the exact opposite of what we need, so we're going to take attack speed. I think that's Halo, I'm not really sure. Uh, then we're going to grab that, we're going to grab that, and we still don't have enough money for that, but we got the minigun beans, and that is what is truly important in this, in this sordid world that we live in. Now we really need to start leaning into uh, into range damage then because the minigun does not really do anything as of right now. I think it does 50% uh, of what our actual flat range damage is and we are at three so it does one and a half. I think the game rounds up if I'm not mistaken so that means that each hit from the minigun will do two damage. That's not too terrible right now but once we start getting a little later to the armored enemies and the big tanky boys uh, that is going to not be something that will uh, be sufficient to carry us through. Did that man just unleash a shotgun blast at me? Oh, took some damage. These aliens are getting getting craftier, I tell ya. We're going to take 10 luck, actually. Uh, and then we are going to... Reroll. Reroll. Son of a bitch. Reroll. You know, we're going to take the max HP. We're not going to get the full... Ah, Lumberjack shirt. We're not going to get the full HP, as you can see, but it's certainly good. Um, going to buy the laser gun as well. Reroll. Has <laughs> 69. Nice. And another pistol. Can actually combine these SMGs by that pistol. And... We're going to lock that down. We want more armor. More armor, uh, more range and attack speed is going to be good. Life steal is not really easily. It's it's easily combated by the fact that we have both the uh, lumberjack upgrade and the more trees. Um, so that'll that'll help to uh, give us a lot more health available, especially once the waves start lasting a little longer. I mean, boom right there. That's two trees, two sources of, of healing. And with the amount of damage we're putting out, uh, getting hit is not nearly as much of a risk as it was a few rounds ago. Oh, that minigun. Especially with the range upgrades. Ooh, putting in work, son, I tell you what. Boa, I tell you what. Man, king of the hill. So, I have this, this weird, weird thing about me, right? And uh, please let me, what is that? Please let me know. Oh, apparently he drops a box. Please let me know if y'all are the same way, but like, I, for whatever reason, well, I guess that'll, nah, for whatever reason, I have to watch a show in its entirety. Um, when I'm like binging something on, on Hulu or Netflix, like I have to watch all of it. Um, and King of the Hill was, like, I generally get to a, get to a point where I'm, I'm sick of shows, but like, King of the Hill got really rough for like the last couple seasons. I just for whatever reason I uh You know what? We're actually gonna buy a a medical gun? We're gonna get rid of the pistol. We're going to buy a medical gun. That's another source of health. Uh Peggy Hill in particular, I just I wanted to I wanted to throw up every time she was speaking for whatever reason. I just can't stand her character and uh the uh the cousin Luann is oh man, just the whole show, it's you know, I have a very dry sense of humor, but even even my dry sense of humor has its its limit for how bone dry I can uh, I can deal with on an extended basis. And like, uh, apparently, King of the Hill was across the line. I love Bobby though. Bobby, uh, Bobby, I relate to probably enough that it should be embarrassing, but I have embraced the absolute dumpster fire with legs that I am at this point. So I'm Bobby Hill, baby. I like food and. Uh, my parents are inevitably disappointed with me. Don't you dare kill me, please. I cannot start another run and record it today. I'll lose it. I'll lose my sanity. I'll move to Alaska. I'll become a uh, an oil pipeline worker slash fisherman. And y'all will never hear from me again. Alright. My empty threats are, uh, are working. What? Ah. Resume. I don't know what happened there. I didn't press anything. 
Uh, we're going to take that, get back to... Where's our harvesting at? Uh, but I like harvesting, actually. Plus three range damage. That's going to help out. Uh, we're going to buy that. Minus three max HP. So that actually works out on negative HP upgrades as well, because we do get 50% uh, of the negative as well. Uh, we're going to buy the scope for plus two range damage. Plus one range damage. Yeah, okay. We're going to take that. And so our range damage is at 15 at the moment. So this means that the minigun should be doing eight damage. Tight. Math is... Easy. Just kidding. I, I I keep saying I'm bad at math, but like I am. That's not a joke. I am just dog shit at math. I failed algebra two twice in high school. Like I took algebra two, did piss poor, failed it. No, no, I got a D. I got a D the first time, my uh, my junior year. Took it again my senior year, and managed to not only do worse, but just flat out failed the class. Um, luckily, I didn't need it to graduate, so here I am with a piece of paper that says I committed four years of my life to uh, the public education institution, but uh, yeah, man, I don't know, like, math in particular is not my strong suit, but you start throwing letters into my math? Dog. That, that straight up does not compute, cannot begin to wrap my head around whatever witchcraft that is. There we go, that is wave nine done. I said I like harvesting, let's take more harvesting. 7% crit chance, what are we at there? 0%, you know, with how much, or uh, with how often we fire, that's not a bad idea at all. Plus eight, no, 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 no. I love this upgrade, but not this early in a run. I could lock it down. You know what, you only live once, let's take it. <laughs> I've convinced myself. We're going to take that and that. What is our engineering at? Uh, engineering's at one. Oh, well. But the nice thing about that upgrade of capping our, our health at 21 is that, well, we inevitably have the uh, chance of getting one tapped by some of the later enemies that any negative HP upgrades are also arrested as well. Um, but that, that plus eight damage on range actually turns into plus 16 damage. So our minigun is going to be doing a lot of heckin' damage right now. I believe 16 after that, unless I took more range damage upgrades and forgot about it. So we'll take a look when uh, when we finish up this wave. And uh, handcuffs were a good investment. Nothing's getting remotely close enough. Even those big guys are dying in a, uh, a hit or two. Those armored ones as well. So wave 10. I uh, Wave 12, I believe, is like the the hardest in the game um like i wave uh, wave 20 with the boss or bosses depending on your difficulty um is certainly going to be uh going to be hard as well but uh for whatever reason wave 12 i feel like they throw a lot of tougher enemies at you and and my build's never really at the point where i can just face tank through that at that point do i want 12 percent damage or do i want seven percent crit chance what is our crit chance at? 7%? So that'll bring it up to 40. You know what? We're going to take it. I like criticals. We're going to buy this. We have a purple pistol now. We're going to buy that. So we have another blue SMG, and we can combine that into a purple SMG. We do not want negative armor. Uh, we're going to buy that. So we have a purple medical gun. Don't plan on standing still too much. Or do I? Minus 8% speed. You know what? Screw it. And, oh, a double barrel shotgun. This won't be a good investment uh, because it's 50% of our health and our health isn't going to go up. Do I have another pistol? I do not. So we're going to combine these into a purple SMG. We're going to buy a blue double barrel. Now, if I find a rocket launcher or a sniper rifle, anything like that, I am replacing these in, as with some of these other than the minigun in a heartbeat. But for right now, that should be good to go. And we're just going to stand still and kind of see where that gets us. And with the investment into harvesting, 
Uh, that's still not enough to where we're gonna be getting all the benefit from our levels. Holy shit, beans, we are moving so slowly. Now, with this upgrade um, and all the range, it's certainly helping with uh, taking care of the ranged enemies before they have the chance to spawn. But uh, not at the point where we're just eradicating everything on the screen yet, which is where I want to be and where we can feel truly, truly safe. But right now we are just a very slowly walking, walking powerhouse. Ooh, there's one of those uh, crate boys again. Always appreciate the free items. Uh, we're getting a fair bit of alien glowing, probably irradiated currency, so that's nice. And let's see. Grab as much of the uh, moolah as we can. And that is wave 11, plus 20 materials when you... No, I don't want any less speed, please. Another 7% crit chance will bring us up to, I believe, 21%. So that's about one in every five hits as a critical uh it's very rarely a bad idea to buy turrets i found so we're gonna buy that oh oh a rocket launcher though all right uh laser gun laser gun laser gun does 171 damage though you know what we're getting rid of this we're getting rid of the double barrel i know we just added you to the arsenal i'm sorry uh what is our armor at five but plus 25 percent damage I might regret that, Beans, but I'm going to take it. Well, I'm going to lock it down and then take it next round. And that rocket launcher. Yep, you can see they're just wiping out the trash mobs left and right. But on the flip side, we do have the plus eight armor when we're standing still. So even if something does tag us, uh, a ranged projectile or whatever it may be, it's going to hurt a whole heck of a lot less than it would uh, without that upgrade. I was like, what the hell is that? I forgot we bought a uh, incendiary turret, so. And some of those aliens have, like, glowing blue pustules on them, so I'm not sure what those are, if they're, like, buffed or something, but it looks unhealthy. They should probably see an alien doctor, unless all their brethren are the unhealthy ones. Maybe they all have, like, space rabies. Maybe I'm friends with the rest of their species, and, like, this is just a, a culling of the infected herd. This potato is an exterminator, like the man controlling him. Uh, we're going to take another three range damage. Purple SMG brings us up to a red or orange SMG. And then glass cannon, baby, let's go. And then 4% crit chance, minus two range damage. Now I believe that the, uh, like the HP, the negatives will be, will have the same uh, negative or negative connotations as well to where I'll get negative three range damage then. But for, but for plus four percent crit chance and two elemental damage, I don't think any of these do any elemental damage, so not really worth it. I don't want negative dodge. Negative uh, fourteen percent damage is a, that's just a flat out bad item to take all around. But who needs speed when you can stand in place with your pig nose and your high-tech potato monocle and just shred the undead masses? They're not undead. Oh shit, that hurt really bad. Okay, we gotta we gotta find some health. Do I have life steal? I have negative two percent life steal. Ah, but we do have the medical gun. That is, I'm gonna go stand by my turret here. Heal me, please. Thank you, little turret. All right. Oh. I would say nimbly dodging that, but not really that nimbly. We are uh, not having a good time with move, move speed right now. But the damage is incredible. Even the big tanky Viking helmet alien right there died in uh, one or two hits. I took him a couple there, but that probably was from the minigun. Yep, boom. All right, got a bunch of Bunch of moolah. 9% dodge isn't a bad thing. Uh, another purple SMG. <laughs> Plus 12% damage, minus 12 range. A 
We'll take it. We'll take it. I might not... That might not be the wisest decision, but we will take it. Another uh, engineering upgrade. Blue rocket launcher. Do I want that? Nah. Ooh, a flamethrower. Where's our elemental damage at? Nine. Well, we haven't really specced into elemental... You know what? We'll we'll think about it. We'll, we'll tr I feel like that's that's kind of off theme for the build, and if we start doing stuff like that, it's gonna we're gonna try and be investing into elemental damage as well as range, and uh, yeah, that's just that won't be good. Uh, so two armor, six dodge, minus three max HP. With that uh, handcuffs upgrade, it won't go down at all. So we're gonna buy that. So it is purely beneficial. Twenty one out of twenty one. Because we were overcapped already from previous upgrades. And, oh, look at that big Uzi boy. Dead. Behold my rocket launcher. I really, uh, really want to see some more of those guys that drop crates. Oh, that's fire damage. That's what the little blue orbs are. Okay, yes, you should definitely see an alien doctor then. Um, I don't think you'll have the opportunity to because that fire will be followed up with a hailstorm of bullets from a violent potato, but... You know, it's, it's the thought that counts. Hippocratic Oath and all that. I don't know if they have that in space, but... Hippo Crackhead Oath. Oh man, beans, I gotta hydrate. Dodging those. The nice thing about all the range we have is that uh, oftentimes some of the more 20% uh, range... Hey, there we go, and more attack speed. Uh, what's our attack speed at? Oh, fuck it. 10% damage. We're going to re-roll this, and no, no elemental damage. No max HP. Melee damage... We're actually going to take armor there. Plus 25 for... Yes! Yes, that pairs nicely with our rocket launcher. Uh, no, no minus dodge. Uh, we spent pretty much all our money re-rolling. But there we go. There she is. So we are going to get a red rocket launcher. Shout out to Dogmeat. At, uh... After this wave. We are on wave 15. We are three quarters of the wave done. Certainly feeling like the uh, the uh, build is in a good spot, but uh, glass cannon builds like this, and uh, well, especially those that take the glass cannon ability, um, tend to really fall apart against the bosses. That's probably more. What the hell were those? That was like a fucking tentacle monster. Listen, y'all, I've seen enough hentai to know how that ends. But uh, glass cannon builds like this tend to fall apart against the bosses that uh, that I found because they have such a large health pool that you can't kill them before they get a hit off on you. But we'll see. I got a good feeling about this one, Beans. We're gonna we're gonna test that YouTuber luck again today. And wow, three crates that round. Investing into luck certainly not a bad idea. Uh, plus 10% speed, that'll bring us back up almost to normal. Nope, can't gain max... Oh, shit. I fucked that one up. I meant to recycle that. Uh, then we're gonna recycle that. 15% attack speed, 30 range. Four range damage, because it's doubled. Do I want to keep... All right, we're going to get 193 damage per hit. We're going to take an incendiary turret. We're going to re-roll and get more range. And... Oh, all the minus speed is not... You know what? We are an immovable fortress of armored explosions. And for the bosses, maybe I can stand by my uh, medical turret and that'll... That'll help us to survive another another free chip, free uh, box. It's always nice, and hopefully it's something I either 
need or don't take it when I don't want it this time. I did. Fully admit, I fucked that one up. That was my bad beans. Alright, already two crates this round. Putting all sorts of damage out. All the range is helping us tremendously. And just become death incarnate. Speaking of, I really want to do a run where I try and uh, kill death for y'all in Vampire Survivors. Maybe I'll focus on that one next. I have yet to actually uh, kill the Reaper and unlock, we're going to recycle that, and unlock the Red Death. Um, but I, I would love to, to do it on, on video for y'all. Uh, projectiles pierce, yes. Yes, queen, as the kids would say, minus 5% speed at this point. Um, another, another medical turret. It's gonna be huge. Let's go. Hopefully they spawn next to each other and we can spend the boss wave just standing in the same place. Absolutely destroying the final boss. This build is feeling real spicy, you sweet beans. Now, I actually have not beat a run, uh either at uh, difficulty one yet or with the rangers so uh not if but when we another fucking hentai boy but when we beat this run uh we will unlock a new a new item to be added into the item pool which will be cool and uh we will unlock a difficulty two or danger two as well it's called um which is just another difficulty up that i'll probably try and record videos for y'all on get frustrated and then give you a grumpy uh, grumpy first minute or so like I like I did today um, our dodge is really high but damage and crit chance take it I'm gonna reroll this 15% attack speed where are we at on that 20 you know what with the minigun that'll help a lot uh, we're gonna get a legendary medical gun there it is another medical turret more range and we are going to, ooh, you know what? Screw it. We're going all in on DPS and all away on speed at this point. <laughs> My God, we move like a slug and not one of these alien slugs because they're fast as fuck, like a boring old earth slug. And these armored, uh, armored Viking speedy boys are, are coming at us hard as fuck, but our damage is able to keep up. We are already on wave 18, so we have a uh, little bit more time to, to get truly to the point where we can just slap the boss around at a, to a level I'm comfortable with. At this point in the day, with with the tough time I've had recording today and yesterday, I, I am just going to upgrade <laughs> upload this episode no matter what. And you guys might hear me lose my absolute shit at the end. It's a very distinct possibility, but um, as much as I love uploading successful runs to you guys, I like to keep it real. And sometimes the realness is that I am dog shit at video games. Nope. Nope. Do not take it. Recycle it. Um, recycle that as well. Plus three range damage. Let's go. So 43, that means our... Minigun should be doing 22? 32? Oh, that's plus 44% damage. All right. Uh, plus 10% speed. I'm going to take that. Uh, alloy. Don't have enough. Ah, the plus 10% speed feels much better. So, definitely... Uh, feeling much more comfortable with that and all the attack speed we're getting is just bonkers right now we are constantly firing dozens of bullets properly shredding the alien hordes uh, this is the last wave before the boss though so oh oh yep our uh, our defense is still not good that medical gun and the tree upgrades 
really helping to carry us through. Uh, well, now I'm a little less confident because we just almost got one tapped. <laughs> Hopefully I don't start screaming if we, uh, if we lose. The microphone has a really hard time of picking up me shouting profanity at the top of my lungs for whatever reason. I, I have a compressor on, uh, so that probably has something to do with it. And we're going to re-roll. I'm really hoping for some armor. All right. We're going to do that. We are going to... We're actually going to get rid of the laser gun, get another medical gun. And... There we go, Beans. Time to fight the boss. Fingers crossed. Hey, I want you to slap that like button out if you haven't already for the fact that we are about to get this sweet, sweet W. Let's go. Oh, okay. Beans, I, uh, we got it. Oh, we might not have it. We might not have it. Yes! I don't know if it picked that up, but I did shout, but that was in victory. Fuck yeah. Oh, I'm so happy. And we unlocked a new character who is, uh, the Batman who laughs, apparently. What the fuck? Oh, I'll deal with that later. Uh, night goggles, which is... I actually really like that. And we've unlocked difficulty danger to... Beans, thank you so much for joining me today on this epic adventure of potatoes massacring the alien hordes. Appreciate y'all taking the time out of your days and evenings to, uh, to watch the content I'm creating for y'all. Please remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel to become a member of the Toe Bean Army, and let me know in the comments what you thought of today's episode or anything else that you want to let me know. I love you, you sweet toe beans, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye. Mwah. Remember, toe beans, like, comment, subscribe, or else I'll cry myself to sleep tonight.